Greetings. So, midweek, almost the end of the week for me. And um, I thought I'd show you my first corpsed skeleton that I did in know, January or so. There he is. This is using a technique of using basically saran wrap or plastic drop cloth and wrapping it around and using a heat gun and that kind of shrink wraps it and then I use some wood stain and then a little bit of highlight paint brushing this in total took me two hours two and a half hours something like that uh, so if you need to do a corpsing quickly this is definitely the way to go. Just a little more detail there. Thought I'd turn on the light. I like how that neck turned out. So pretty, pretty decent. So this guy will get more or less the same treatment. But I'm going to do it as a oh, that light is bright. Uh, so I'm outside my lovely deck, and let's see, we are going to try corpsing a Bucky, the one I repaired a couple of videos ago. That was probably really bright. Uh, Words of warning, heat guns are hot, be careful. Like overdriven hair dryers. What else am I gonna use? Okay, so heat gun, about 20 bucks, no big deal. Seven mil plastic. This is uh, just drop cloth for what, like painting or whatever. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap them. Sometimes small strips, wrap, wrap. Sometimes bigger strips, wrap, wrap. And you hit it with the heat gun that shrink wraps the plastic, kind of tightens it up, and it'll start to melt it and kind of make it all kind of gooey and pull apart -y, like one would think desiccated flesh might be. Uh, I'm also going to kind of build, just by wrapping and bunching up plastic, uh, little bits of muscle and sinew and whatever else I think might look kind of ooky. So I'll do some work, Show it, do some work, show it, blah, blah, blah. I don't claim to be an expert here, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn. So this stuff kind of sticks to itself a little bit, not too much, so it's not like cling wrap. But it does kind of stick to itself. I'll tell you where it really sticks to itself is once you heat it up with the heat gun. As I said, the heat gun's pretty much just an overdrive uh, hair dryer. Very, very hot. It will melt this stuff. Beam it on too long, it'll melt it. But, you give it just sort of a passing run, it kind of globs to itself. Just like that. It does get hot, and as you can see, woo! So I've never done a female corpsing, so those are going to be the, uh, mammary glands and uh, made some sinew already which was just twirling this around and heating it up see bits and pieces of this I'll fast forward through a lot of this um, hopefully it'll help uh, you know people uh, do it this way it's really quick that's the beauty of this one you want to see a really good how-to on this find uh, Stilt, Beast, Stilt Beast Studios on YouTube and uh, that's where I got the the knowledge to do this Alan Hobbs does an excellent how-to on this but just like him do as I say not as I do so if you see me checking the heat of the heat gun 
Don't do that. It's hot. It works. I don't need to check it. Try not to lay your heat gun on your plastic wrap, it kind of makes it all sticky. Please, God, help me. <laughs> now, one of the nice things about this is this one of these buckies are they're not exactly the strongest of critters so this actually helps reinforce the joints so you get a little more strength to it You get the idea. So you might start getting an idea of how this is going to look here as the plastic starts to melt, starts looking like a shrink wrapped uh, thing you might buy, and starts hugging and getting tighter and tighter. As we zap it with some heat, ah, see how that pulls back? This plastic's gonna look with all these uh, ridges. This is gonna start looking like veins and such. Pretty cool. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes, and here's where I am so far. I've got it mostly wrapped. Ooh, it's still hot in there. So, where this really sells itself is in stuff like the arms, right here, right here, around the neck area, a little bit of that sinewy kind of look, that kind of pulls away. Alright, so that took me one hour. One hour to get my corpse to this level. I have not stained it yet. It's a bit hot outside, so I'm not going to, at least until later on tonight. But one hour to get all that done. Now, if you were doing some of the other methods, the cotton with the latex and the pulling of pantyhose things over it, using the naphthalene, all that kind of stuff, that can take weeks. If you want a really good one, looking one, and that's your only haunt project for the year, go for it. That project's gonna take me in total two hours. So, for your bang for your buck time-wise, and it cost me almost nothing. I mean, heat guns, 20 bucks. You use it for lots of other things. Um, you know, that drop cloth, I used one roll of the three roll pack, so that cost me about a buck twenty-five, and that's it. Well, I don't know how much time I got on this, so keep haunting, stay scary, 